Hi, I'm Tara Green, and I'm here to talk about this really amazing, very rare Sagittarius total blood moon, flowering moon, lunar eclipse that's happening May 26th. Now, the actual eclipse is on 4.13 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 1.13 p.m. GMT. Something feels off about these times because I've had different times, so I would double check in your area. Uh, the eclipse is mainly falling over the Pacific coast. We will see a partial eclipse here in North America. I'm up in Toronto, Canada. But really what's so awesome about it, um, it is at five degrees of Sagittarius. So for everybody who has their sun, their moon, their rising, any planets, within two degrees, that means three degrees to seven degrees. That means if you're born within the third day of when Sagittarius starts till the seventh day of Sagittarius, this total lunar eclipse will impact you directly. Now, eclipses repeat only once every 18 years. Now, they do fall in different cycles called Cero cycles. Um, there will be another, the old, there's only two uh, total solar and lunar eclipses this year. This is the first one, May 26, total lunar eclipse. There will be a total solar eclipse uh, December the 4th, but also in Sagittarius at 12 degrees. So for everybody born again within those first you know, a couple of weeks of Sagittarius, you're going to get this uh, benefit directly. So don't be afraid of lunar eclipses. They are extremely powerful and very auspicious events. Now, according to the Tibetan Buddhists, any mantras, any prayers recited for the benefit of all. That's really, you know, you don't have to be a Buddhist. You don't have to believe you could even be an atheist. You could just recite the basic mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum which is basically blessings to everybody may awaken. Uh, even you could change it into English into may all beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. Uh, during an eclipse, you have to do it 108 times. It increases the blessings, what they call merit, uh, good vibes, let's put it that way, 700,000 times. Now, I'm sure, you know, if somebody said, here's $700,000, you'd say, great, I want it. Well, this is basically the same thing. It's 700,000 spiritual blessings, which ultimately is more valuable than any money, crypto or whatever. So I'm inviting you to join me. I've been doing this series of lunar, full moon, new moon, astrology, magic workshops, and I been doing them of course every two weeks but this one especially is very rare and very special uh, the planet Jupiter the planet of expansion of opportunity um, the benefactor the wheel of fortune in the tarot is just entered Pisces and Jupiter rules Sagittarius so it's the most important planet here besides the Sun and the moon uh, and it rules Pisces so Jupiter being in Pisces brings up the benefits even more so this is very spiritual very compassionate very forgiving, relates to mental illness. Of course, there's been a lot of news about mental illness, Prince Harry and Oprah, and of course, mental illness is a big deal with COVID-19, everybody finding it hard to cope with everything, of course. Um, secrets, the unconscious dreams, our dreams are gonna be totally enhanced. Everybody's psychic energy is gonna go through the roof uh, because of Jupiter and Pisces. So again, everybody who's born in the first couple of degrees of Pisces, you are also very impacted by this event. So when we do group ritual, it enhances that energy. You know, it's called a star meditation. So the more people that come and join, uh, for me and the feedback I've been getting, is that it's a really phenomenal experience. Now, you don't need to know astrology necessarily. I will translate, I'm a starry translator now, what the aspects mean. You know, the sacred geometry of every astrological event, which, you know, shifts daily, you know. Uh, but on the full and new moons, you're, what you're looking at is my old, um, this is my sacred hand-painted drum. You can see there's a blood moon, there's a, a goddess on it. Um, I will bring in the drum. I'm gonna call upon this Tibetan Buddhist um, deva called the Red Dakini um, because she perfectly goes with this full moon, okay? Now, it's called a super full blood moon. Um, again, and the, the moon and the earth are gonna be very close together, so the moon will look bigger. Um, again, very auspicious. So calling you to join me. What the workshop is, is I will again, ex I give a little PowerPoint. I will explain what the astrology energies mean. If you wanna bring your astrology chart, you'll find all you have to look at is where Sagittarius is in your chart. Everybody has Sagittarius in their chart, even if you have no planets there. That's the house and 
the designation within your own astrology chart, how it's going to affect you personally. The, um, there will be a Q&A at the end. I do a guided meditation. So that guided med meditation will help you to tune into the energy of Sagittarius, all the Sagittarius energies. I mean, this eclipse is right on my sun. So I'm going to be personally impacted. So literally, I'm going to download. I'm a double Sagittarius. I was born on a new moon in Sagittarius. So this is basically you know, um, I'm rebalancing for myself very much. So Sagittarius, optimism, fire, it's the sage wisdom, you know, so we're going to tap into that sage wisdom. On a spiritual level, the planet Jupiter is the planet of the higher master teachers. I know they're there. Uh, I've just been tuning into them in the last few days. So Sagittarius, honesty, truth, justice, you know, also Jupiter as the planet of sacred law, you know, how everybody gets upset, why can laws be so stupid and dumb because they're human laws you know and humans are fallible and the law was made up by the patriarchy and it's colonized and all that so we want to go to sacred law and in sacred law everything is born of the feminine and nothing should be done to harm the children okay now these are very important topics right now because everybody's inner child has been wounded and hurt this is what all the therapy is all about taking therapy um, you know all the mental illness all the problems usually come from our childhood Okay, this is a common denominator. So, Sagittarius, truth, honesty, justice, transparency, open-minded optimism. We all need good humor right now. Jupiter, Jove, Jovial, that's his name in Roman. We need good humor. We need to have optimism. We need to have faith. We need to trust that we're going to get through this dark phase and come out the other side. Um, the moon card in the tarot is related to Pisces. It's the dark side of the moon. Okay. And the moon on the other side is the high priestess, the number two. Uh, and we are in the 1,000 year of the high priestess reign since we've started 2000. So very auspicious for a number of other reasons. The eclipse is also very close to a fixed star called Uriel or Ariel. There's different pronunciations. And this is the star called Antares, which is a big red star, the rival of Mars. That's what it means. Okay. So again, we're going to call on the auspicious energy of that archangel to be here with us. Also, Jupiter is sitting with the archangel Gabriel, the one who blows the trumpet on judgment day. Uh, I work with archangel Gabriel a lot. So we're going to call in the archangel Gabriel. I mean, we're going to call in all of them. It's the sun is actually conjunct to Aldebaran. Uh, which is now an early Gemini in tropical astrology. So that's Archangel Michael. He's got his big fiery sword. And we'll call in Raphael, who's basically now at zero degrees of Virgo. Again, tropical astrology. We're going to call in all the archangels. So it's going to be a very auspicious event. Um, what else happens there? Yes, I channel a message. So this has been very powerful. We're going to go on a journey together. It is participatory. The more people that come, the better. We're going to work on doing a lot of womb healing as well for women. Uh, blood clots, things like that have been showing up as a result of COVID uh, vaccines. Um, so basically healing, sending down blessings for ourselves to bring peace to the world, to bring blessings for ourselves. Ultimately, you know, Pisces, it's all about giving blessings to other people. That's how we create merit or blessings. So please join me. You can sign up on my website at terratero.com. I have a sliding scale now from $18 to $28. That's Canadian funds, so it's cheaper American. Um, if you're really in financial straits, just drop me an email. That's taragreentarot at gmail.com. So my name, Tara Green with an E on the end, and then tarot at gmail.com, and I will help you because I really want everybody to be here. I want you to receive 700,000 times the blessings. The world needs 700,000 times the blessings. So please join me. Uh, you can follow me on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress. Please sign up and uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok sometimes too. So hope to see you Tuesday, May 25th, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. If you can't make it live, I record it. It can be sent to you after the actual eclipse is the next day. And so what I do is I create uh, the energy, the magic, the shared experience, and then you can go the next day when the eclipse is on and do your own, continue to do your own prayers for people in your life, for yourself, for other people, your animals, Sagittarius rules animals. Um, yeah, so please join me. It's gonna be an amazing, awesome event, I know that. Okay, blessings to you.